Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how we can do Python remote development in Python and in this case I will use PyCharm IDE because I think that PyCharm is still one of my best IDE for uh, Python development. Okay, so we will write our code in local desktop and we will use our server as our computation resource. So in this case, we will at least have two benefits. The first one is the concept of server and client. We can share our computation resource to several clients. Okay, and then the second one, by using PyCharm in this remote development, we can do debug line by line. So in case we have very complex code, we can be very comfortable to debug our code during the development. Okay, so let's start. Uh, in this case, I will use SSH connection, so I need to uh, open my terminal. In Windows, I use this terminal. For you guys that haven't had this terminal, you can download in this Microsoft Store here. Okay. You can download by typing Ubuntu. Sorry, Ubuntu here. Okay, and then I install this one. And for you that use Mac and also Ubuntu, of course you don't need to install this terminal because you already have that in your computer. Okay, so I uh, will start to type my SSH address and also the user here, SSH. My user is this one. Okay, and this is my IP 140.113.2.1. Dot something I need to keep it secret okay and then this P for part and then this is my part number enter okay I input my password to connect to my server okay this is already connected so I want to make my development folder I want to make here in home okay and then I want to make the folder by using sudo make dir here rdn here okay and then i oh, okay i need to input first my password and then i want to set this folder as writeable folder by using this script sudo change mode okay 777 rdn here okay and then the next we will create our PyCharm project first we can uh, open PyCharm here so for remote development we cannot use free version of PyCharm like uh, community version and in this case we have to use this professional version okay so click this one okay and then I will create new project here Okay, in this case, I will choose pure Python. Mm, this is the location in our local desktop. I will choose in this drive D and then I will make this folder. Uh, first try, for example, first try development. Okay, okay, and then click again, OK button here. Oh, we need to click this folder. Uh, first try this one Okay, and then we need also to uh, Set this interpreter. Okay, click this button here and In this case we will choose this SSH interpreter We can input our IP address here on one three two one four and then something something Okay, and then my port is also something 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 here and then the user mg2 next okay and I need to type my password okay save password and then next and then this is our Python interpreter in our server okay and finally we can click this finish button here okay and also again click create button here Okay, and then the next we can do some setting here in tools and then development and then configuration here. 
make sure this is already correctly input test connection already connected okay and then this is the important one we need to map our uh, local directory to our server directory here in this case I want to place in my directory here home and then RTN here click OK okay and if you also want to exclude some folders you can also add here both directory path or local path you can set as you want okay I think that's all we can click this OK button here okay in this case we have this local development folder here and then for our remote development folder we can show by clicking this menu tools development and browse remote host here okay I select this server here okay make sure this is already the green highlighted one here this is my directory okay I can move to here okay so this one is my local one and this is uh, the development folder in my remote server okay and then let's start to make sample Python code by right click this one new and then Python file here I want to make first try again first try okay and I want to make a very simple code for example import numpy smp uh, for example I make an array np array okay mm, one two and then three four five six in this case I want to show you a very simple one by taking root mean square value of this array okay so next we can take square operation of this array here we can store for example in p here p uh, a square okay and then c we can sum all component of this p array here and p sum p and then finally we can take square root of this c okay we can store in we can store in t for example np square root okay sqrt okay sqrt c okay and finally we can print the t value here okay why i do like this uh, in this case i want to show you that by using this pi term for remote development we can do debug line by line which is very comfortable if you want to develop a very complex one okay we can run by right click here and then click run first right here it works and then I want to show you how we can debug this is very similar with debugging when we uh, code in our local computer so right click again and then uh, click debug first right here okay here we can click step over here this is our array we can show this one in scientific view okay this is our array we have 3 by 2 and then we can step over again make sure that this one is the square of this one we can check it here okay 1 4 9 16 from a 1 2 3 4 this is already the, the square one of the previous a array here and then the next we sum c we can step over again c 91 and then finally we can see in the last one here the square root of 91 is 9 point something here and yes that's all we can print this result that's all in this video i already show you how we can do python remote development by using pycharm professional editions and in this case we have a benefit which is be able to debug line by line in case we have a very complex code it make us very comfortable during the development i hope this video can be useful for you and see you in the next video bye bye